This is Lauren, and the title of this lesson is Multiplying Whole Numbers by Ten, Hundred, and a Thousand. This is a great lesson because it's almost like doing no math at all. You guys know that nine times one is nine, seven times one is seven, and 43 times one is 43. Anytime you multiply a number by one, it's the original number. So let's say I'm going to take nine times 10. Most of you should already know this because you know how to count by tens. The answer should be 90. If I did seven times 10, the answer is 70. And if I did 43 times 10, my answer is 430. Did anybody notice what's happening when we multiply these numbers by 10? Basically, we get the same answer as the first time, except we're adding a zero to our ones column. We're multiplying one number 10 times itself so we add the number zero to our answer. Let's move on and use our same numbers. Nine, seven, and 43. So if I did nine times 100 using that same trick, I already know that nine times 10 is 90. If I add one more zero, my answer is 900. If I do 7 times 100, I already knew that 7 times 10 was 70. All I need to do is add one more zero. My answer is 700. If I do 43 times 100, from previous page, I knew that 43 times 10 was 430. All I have to do is add one more zero. My answer is 4,300. If we continue on with this pattern, whoops, I didn't use eight. 43. And I'm going to multiply it times a thousand. What do you think my pattern means? Think to yourself or write in your journal what you think the answers are going to be. If you said nine times a thousand is nine or ninety and add the two extra zeros, you're right. If my number was seven, I put down seven, I add the three zeros to get 7,000. And if I add 43 times 1,000, again, I count how many zeros there are and I come up with 43,000. Let's try a couple extra on your own. I'm gonna give you some numbers and you write the answers in your journals. Let's do 15 times 10, let's do 21 times 100, and let's do 67 times 1,000. Stop the movie and write your answers in your journal. Are we ready? 15 times 10. Lauren, you know that 15 times 1 is what? 15. So if I have 15, how many zeros does a 10 have? 1. So what should I add to the end of my answer? 1, 0. 1, 0. Did you guys get 150? 21 times 100. Lauren, what's 21 times 1? 21. 21. How many zeros do I have in 100? 2. Two, so what should I have on my answer? Two, 
two zeros. Two zeros. So my answer is 2,100. And now the last one with the big scary 1,000. 67 times 1 is 67. Lauren, how many zeros are there in 1,000? Three. So what should I add to the end of my number? Three zeros. Three zeros. My answer turns out to be 67,000. Since this is a pretty simple lesson, and all you have to do is count the zeros, we're not going to do a quiz for this one. But thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in class. Bye.